In this video, I want to guide you through the folders that come with Krabi and how they are related to your projects. This is the starter kit and the starter kit comes with all the folders that you would also find in the plain kit, uh, except the first one here, which is the assets folder. And the assets folder is something that we do personally. That is not really something that you have to do in a Kirby project. Um, this is just where we store all the theming files or the, the front end files for our sites. So basically all the style sheets, JavaScript would go in there, um, font files would go in there, SVGs, etc. So everything that is related to the design, we normally tend to store in such an assets folder. It's not a requirement. If you have your own preferred way to store those assets files, um, it's totally up to you. But this is just an explanation for the starter kit. In our plain kit, um, which doesn't come with any theming files, um, you wouldn't find that. So the, the assets folder is gone there. The most important folder, I think, in a Kirby project is the content folder, which is like the heart and soul of your site because it contains all the content for your site. All the text, all the information, all images, uploaded PDFs, um, yeah, whatever else you want to provide on your site. Normally, you would find this kind of data in a database, but Kirby is a file-based system, so this is basically how it is stored in Kirby. So you have folders and text files with the information for your site. And we will talk um, in a more detailed video about this content folder. So I'm not going to speak about the subfolders here. Um, it's just to, to let you know this is where you can find your content. Uh, the index PHP is the main entrance for Kirby where it runs. So just leave it as it is and everything's fine. Uh, then we have the Kirby folder and that is the application folder and you should also not touch this. Everything in there um, is should be left as it is. But it's important to know about this folder because this is also how you update Kirby. Um, we offer updates frequently and whenever there's a new Kirby version with new bug fixes and features etc. Um, you should just download the starter kit or the plain kit again and then take the Kirby folder from that kit and replace it, play, re, uh, replace this one with it. So this is pretty much how you update, just replace the Kirby folder. If you have a composer based workflow, of course you can also use composer, but if you have a simple download based workflow, just replace the Kirby folder. The media folder is a folder that is also completely managed by Kirby. You don't have to touch it. You can throw it away. It will be recreated. It's basically where all the modified images and assets are stored by Kirby. So in Kirby, you can resize images, you can crop images, optimize them for different screen sizes or mobile devices. And those um, optimized versions are not replacing the original images, which would be stored in the content folder, they will be stored here and cached here in this media folder. The second most important folder after the content folder is most definitely the site folder, which is the project folder. So it, everything that is related to your Kirby project is stored in there. Um, most importantly, probably all your templates, snippets which are little parts of templates that you can use in multiple templates session session files plugins um, controllers configuration files blueprints so i'm not going to talk about all of those in in detail because you will find them again in different videos and in the guide as well but just so you know they are all stored here and you are working most of the times as a developer, you're working in this folder and you modify those files. And this is pretty much everything you need to know about a Kirby folder system. Um, you can put additional folders in here. Kirby is very gentle with new folders. So if you want to put another subfolder in here, you're uh, happy to do that. You can store additional HTML files in there. Kirby doesn't really care about those. And the rest, as you can see, is just the folders that I explained here.
Thank you very much for watching. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell. See you in the next video. Bye bye.